Hello students, today in your geometry class, we're going to be working on the Pythagorean Theorem. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve problems using Pythagorean Theorem. So let's go over four quick theorems. Two, so in Theorem 8.1, this is the Pythagorean Theorem. This is something that you guys obviously covered in geometry class already, or in algebra class, I'm sorry. Now the Pythagorean Theorem just to be extra clear, only works on right triangles. So please do not attempt to do this on anything other than a right triangle. And it essentially says the sum of the lengths of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. So basically, any of the legs, A or B, when you take them and say A squared plus B squared will be equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, theorem 8.2 is the converse. It's basically just the reverse of what we just stated. It says if the square of the length of one side of a triangle is equal to the sum of the lengths of the other two sides, then the triangle is a right triangle. So basically, in 8.1, it's saying you have a right triangle, therefore a squared plus b squared equals c squared is true. The converse says if you have a triangle, that just so happens to be to fit the a squared plus b squared equals c squared model, then that triangle is a right triangle. Now, theorem 8.3 and 8.4 are kind of similar to one another. It says that if the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is greater than the sum of the squares, sum of the lengths of the other two sides, then the triangle is obtuse. Obtuse just means one of the angles in this triangle is greater than 90 and less than 180. In theorem 8.4, it states that if the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is less than the sum of the squares, uh, squares of the lengths of the other two sides, then the triangle is acute. Essentially, if we take the longest side, C, we square it, and if that's less than A squared plus B squared, then the triangle is acute. So we're going to practice a couple right now. So in here, we obviously have all right triangles. It says find x using the Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have 6 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. That means we have 36 plus 64 equals c squared. That means we have 100 equal to c squared. Therefore, c is equal to 10. And the way we got that is the opposite of a square is a square root. So we square rooted both sides, and the square root of 100 is 10. For example 2, it's the same idea. We have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We have 5 squared. We have 12 squared. We have c squared. So we end up with 25 plus 144 equals c squared, 169 equals c squared, and square rooting both sides, we get c equals 13. Last but not least is example 3. Now example 3 we do a little bit differently because if you'll notice, we don't, we have the length of the hypotenuse. So we're going to go with a fix our font here. We have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So here we have x squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify. So we have x x squared plus 144 equals equals 225. We're going to subtract 144 to both sides. We get x squared equals 81 and x is equal to 9. So let's try one last example. We have 
again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We have 4 squared plus 5 squared equals x squared. We get 16 plus 25 equals x squared. Then we have 41 equals x squared. And in this case, we can't really simplify this other than to say the square root of 41. No need to take this square root of 41 and substitute it into your calculator because then it'll be inaccurate because you're rounding. Now let's take a look at these last two examples. This is based off of theorem 8.3 and 8.4. It says that if we take the longest side, so take c squared, and we compare it to a squared plus b squared, we're really trying to find out here if it's equal to, greater than, or less than. So that's what we're going to do. We have the longest side here is 6, so 6 squared. Then we have 4 squared plus 5 squared. We have 36. We have 16 plus 25. If 36 is less than 41. Now because this is the case, that means this triangle is acute because the c squared is less than the, the sum of a squared and b squared. See so the same thing for example 5 so we have c squared which in this case is again 6 so you have 6 squared and we're going to compare that to 2 squared plus 5 squared. Can we get 36 equals 4 plus 25. 36 is greater than 29 therefore this triangle is obtuse. Okay. Now it's your turn. Try solving these three problems. Solve for x, post to Edmodo. First one will post, everyone else will just reply. That's all for now. See you guys next time.